Elsewhere around the world, an older, wiser leader is chosen by the people of Mexico fed up with corruption. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador beat his two main rivals in the official quick count from a national sampling of ballots. Hong Yu gets us better acquainted with the man said to be the country's first left wing president in almost a century. After 89 years of rule, Mexico's conservative PRI party is expected to relinquish the presidency to left wing politician from the PT party, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. An official quick count from a national sampling of ballots showed about 53% of the votes cast went to Lopez Obrador. After running for president twice in the past, he finally won a resounding victory Sunday night in Mexico's presidential election. This marks the first time that a left wing candidate will become president of Mexico since the country started transitioning to democracy. One local polling agency, Parametria, expects Obrador to take 53 to 59 percent of the votes, and another local poll, Consulta Mitovsky, expects 43 to 49 percent of votes to go to Obrador. His main opponent, Ricardo Anaya, a moderate candidate, is expected to take 19 to 25 percent of the votes. Anaya and ruling party candidate Jose Antonio Miade, who came third in the polls, accepted their defeat and offered their congratulations. The shift of political power from the conservatives to liberals comes after Mexicans' disappointment over corruption, violence and inequality. Obrador was the former mayor of Mexico City, but his promises to put an end to corruption, establish a ministry of public safety and renegotiate NAFTA helped him earn the people's vote. He emphasized honest poverty and sharing by declaring that he will reduce his presidential salary to half its normal amount and offering to live in his own house instead of presidential palace. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted his congratulations to Lopez Obrador on Sunday night, saying, I look very much forward to working with him. There is much to be done that will benefit both the United States and Mexico. A total of 3,400 positions were contested and 89 million people voted. The new president is to be inaugurated on December 1st. Hong Yu, Arirang News.